Once again, this matchup, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. The Grizzlies covered the spread against the Warriors last six games. I've been on the wrong side of that joint like twice already. But it's a closeout game. Uh, last game, they beat them by 10 in the fourth quarter alone. I'm still taking the Warriors. I might as well ride it all the way out. Closeout game, like I said. They're playing out John Morant once again. But the Grizzlies play good without John Morant. Regular season. And they proved it in the playoffs. They can play without John Morant. So it's not even a bad pick to be on the Grizzlies side. Me, I'm still rocking with Steph Curry and them. He was 4 for 14 from three-point range. You think he's going to do that again? You must be crazy. Um, Kyle Anderson was 7 for 8 from field goal range. Just to throw that in there on the Grizzlies. He's not known for being that perfect from shooting. So, give me the, give me the uh, Warriors minus 4 now. It ain't a big spread, but they're not at home. I still like the Warriors minus 4. I think it closed out the game. And they, they got, these Grizzlies, it, it, it got to regress back to the mean eventually. You know what I mean? So, uh, give me the Warriors minus 4. I don't know about the over and under. Uh, I've been kind of shaky on that. I don't know if it's going to be a de defensive game because Warriors can play defensive ball and slow it down half court and they can shoot it out with you. Grizzlies, I don't got enough data, you know what I mean, playoff data without John Morant to say how they're going to do. Last game they went under without John Morant. But who's to say, you know. So just give me the Warriors minus four, man. That's the play.